So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 25 of our Portsmouth co Ray mode and as you can see here the scout has been dispatched and that is the scout of future star of course so we are going to jump into the first game of this episode which is going to be a tough one as it's going to be at Fratton Park up against Walsall. Walsall also won their first game of the season so it's going to be a statement whoever wins this game so pretty much the starting the best possible starting lineup we have put out is the best we can possibly field let's see how we get on. So we've got the ball through to Moore. It's a lovely ball through to him. Did he get tripped? Yes, he did. So now we've got a chance from the free kick. Can anyone whip it over the top of the wall and into the back? And let's see who's got the best free kick stats. I think it is actually Omar. Um... Yes, it is. So we're going to let Omer take it. He's going to try and get it up and over. He's going to strike it hard. It's a good strike. And, oh, he's at the crossbar. That was so close to being inch perfect. So win the ball back with Omer here. Omer through to Chaplin. Chaplin can see the runner Bennett and uh, the ball's not the best. Chaplin would have a better ball and Bennett would have been clear through one on with the goalkeeper. So Bennett with the ball through to Omer. We've actually won the ball back just about. We play the ball through to Moore. Moore to turn his man but he's not the only problem with Moore. It would be a lot better if he had better physical stats so better strength because to be honest he gets in good positions but the only problem is he gets knocked off the ball so easy. So Walsall got the ball down the right hand side. They're trying to cause us a little bit of problems but we're trying to hold firm and we're trying to push them backwards but they've got another good chance here. Cuvillier cuts inside. He plays the ball to Jackson. A lovely back heel back to Cuvillier. They play the ball back inside. What a goal this this could be. It's a fantastic block for a Duke Corey, but they play ball back inside, and they scored. Oh dear me! In the 40, in the 64th minute, they've gone ahead and scored. The number 14 for Walsall puts the nail in the coffin. Because to be honest, we have not been playing well at all during this game, and we just cannot keep the ball. And uh, whenever we get the chance to try and clear it, we don't clear it. We try and play out there from the back, and uh, that proves very costly there as Osborne picks up the goal for them, and uh, they can inflict the first defeat of the season on us here. So they play the ball through to Chaplin. Chaplin through to Omer. Omer tries to squeeze the ball out wide to Oxford and now we're in trouble. We put a lot of bodies forward and uh, now we've got to come back. But thankfully, the referee blows for the offside. So we're trying to create one last chance for ourselves here. We squeeze the ball. Oh, why are you playing it that way? We wanted to play the ball to Bennett and he tries to squeeze the ball through to other player. Deary me, it's just not going for us today. We've got the ball back with Chaplin. Chaplin out wide to uh, Cardoso. Cardoso through to Asoro who's just come on the pitch. He is actually making his debut for the club and he's going to cut back inside. Asoro, can he go all the way? Oh, he's been taken down. Surely ref. I swear to God he was taken there and Colin Chaplin tries to turn his man. He can't do it. But referee, I swear he got completely taken out. So, um... I was a little disappointed there. I thought we should have been awarded a penalty right towards the end. We didn't deserve it, but I clearly thought he went through the man to get the ball. Referee, come on, you've got a blow for that. So, it's been accepted. Lotin will be joining the club. No, he won't, because we haven't got enough money. So, Lotin will not be joining the club at the moment until we somehow get some more money. So, what we're going to have to do is go ahead and sell someone. So we've got a transfer offer for Matt Clark, which is a player we don't want to let go, but he could be going to Borussia Dortmund for 1.5 million. We're going to say we want, uh, how much do we want? Let's say we want 2.2 million and then we will happily let him go, but we don't want to let him go because he has got high potential as well. However, it's now time for the next game of the episode, which is going to be away from home up against Southend. So we need to bounce back from that uh, previous result after losing 1-0 to Walsall. This is going to be a difficult one, but we have got a full squad available again. And let's see if we can put in a better performance and pick up all three points. We may have a good chance as Emre Moore plays the ball through to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin's going to cut back inside. We can see Moore at the far post, but we can't play the ball to him. But we're going to try and play the ball out wide to Omar. Omar's got a good chance, but he's actually on his left boot, so which isn't the best for us. But we play the ball back through to Chaplin. Chaplin clearly gets taken out there, and we get the chance from the free kick. So Omar is going to take it. Can he get it up and over the wall? Let's see. He's going to hit it. It goes up, and uh, oh, it doesn't come back down, does it? <laughs> No way, what a save, what a save from Svila, how on earth has he kept that one out, he's denied Nile Ranger with an absolute incredible save, look at this guys, how has he kept that one out, amazing stuff. 
So Cardoso here going to try and go all on his own. Cardoso to cut back on his right boot. He cuts back. Cardoso to go for a strike. And what a goal. What a goal from Cardoso. What an amazing strike that is. He cuts back inside from the right-hand side. He can't pass one. He cuts past two. And he fires the ball into the top-hand corner. The goalkeeper can't believe it. But that is something out of this world. How has he managed to put that in the top corner? What about that for a strike? The goalkeeper never in a million years was going to get anywhere near that one. Igor Cardoso scores his first goal and what an amazing goal it was. However, we have another good chance. We squeeze the ball back to Cardoso. Can Cardoso make it too? He's not the quickest across the ground, but he goes for strike. But it's a good save from the goalkeeper. But this is better now. This is better. So Southend now in the 90th minute trying to put bodies forward. But he won that one with Omer, but it doesn't matter. We're working on the counter, but the referee blows the final whistle and we come out 1-0 winners. Thank God for that as Cardoso scored a wonder strike from the outside of the box as he cut inside from the right-hand side. And that is what we want to see from the scout feature start. I'm really looking forward to seeing him grow into one of the best players that Portsmouth will ever see. So now I've got a transfer for Cole Bennett, our captain, to go to Blackpool. We're going to say no, unless they're going to pay stupid money for him. We are not going to let our captain go because he will be playing regular football, even though Lotin will be coming in. Him and Lotin will be sharing the spoils. We've got another transfer offer though, this time for Kyle Baker for 120000 We're going to go ahead and straight out accept it because we need the money for Lotin. And also because he's 34 years old, he's starting to decrease in stats. So there's no point keeping him, to be honest. So we now got a transfer for Sliva and Dortmund say they pay 1.6 million for Clark. We're saying uh, no, we want 2.6, which we know for a fact that they will not go ahead and pay. So and we've also got a bid for Sliva for 1.9 million. We're going to say no, we want stupid money. We want around about 4.9 million, as we know Aberdeen will not be matching that one. We've also got a bid of 2.5 million, which is a hell of a lot of money there for um, Sliva once again from Werder Bremen. We're not going to let him go, and uh, I don't think we're going to let him go. Well, I suppose four and a half million is good enough. We go ahead and bring in another goalkeeper for that, but we're not sure. But that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be hugely appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.